show you my favorite recipe right now that I am loving for breakfast. My husband loves it too. He makes sure that we have it every single week. So I wanted to share it with you guys. It's pretty healthy and it's really yummy. So they are called um, like energy bites or protein balls, whatever you wanna call them. The first thing that I start out with is um, peanut butter. So this is the great value uh, no stir crunchy natural peanut butter. I accidentally bought crunchy one time and it tastes really good in here so I decided the crunchy is better. So peanut butter is gonna be the main thing, the main ingredient in here. Oh my gosh, it's so crunchy. That's really crunchy. You guys look how crunchy that is. So I hope this works. That's really crunchy. I'm sure it'll be fine. Maybe you should do like half crunchy, half regular. But I do, so these are the smaller jars, um, 16 ounce jars. So I usually do about half of a jar for one batch. And it looks about like that. I don't use a whole lot of measurements. I just kind of wing it every time. The next ingredient I'm gonna add is the Plexus. P96 and I use half of a pouch. I've done a full pouch before and it makes it a little bit um, too like chocolatey I guess in my opinion. So this is the chocolate flavor. It is 96 calories but I'm only using half and it is full of vitamins and really really good stuff. It's vegetarian, gluten free, non-GMO, all that good stuff. So I really like to add this in so that way, especially if I have it for breakfast, I'm getting like all of my vitamins and stuff the oats so I add just rolled oats and this one I go pretty heavy on the oats as well and you, you can substitute um, any protein powder I just really like that one um, it's very clean so rolled oats and then I like to add in some chocolate chips because I like it a little bit sweet and I like the crunch that it gives. So if you can find mini dark chocolate, that would be best, but I could only find semi-sweet. So I don't add in too many. So I've also used regular chocolate chips, but I find the mini ones just are a little bit easier to manage. Um, I also add a splash of vanilla. I would do like an all natural Vanilla, this is unfortunately just an imitation vanilla, but it does add, add a little bit more, a nice sweetness. And then honey. Honey is gonna bind everything together. This is just raw honey. Are you watching me, Cal? You're gonna add a pretty decent amount. Then I'm going to add coconut. Normally I was adding the like regular coconut that you would buy, the coconut flakes that you would buy in the store. Um, but I found these, which I think are gonna be so much better. This is sweetened toasted coconut. No artificial flavors or colors. And it is just a nice coconut. So I add the coconut flakes because it gives it um, some texture and some crunch, and I like the flavor of coconut. So if that's something that you don't like, if you don't like chocolate chips or coconut, those are just extra things that I like to add in to kind of spruce it up a little bit. Now for the supplements that I like to add. Um, I like to add flaxseed, which is really good for your digestion. So I just do a tablespoon of flaxseed. Then I also add in a tablespoon of Collagen, this is the kind that I use. This is really good for um, your joints, your bones, your nails, your hair, all that stuff. And again, I just do about a tablespoon. And then I have Brewer's Yeast Powder. This is something that I bought when I was, well I still am, still am breastfeeding. But when I was first breastfeeding, I bought this because I kept reading that it was really good for milk supply. 
and I think I was putting it in a smoothie at the time, but I didn't notice much. Uh, so since I have it, I might as well add it. Can't hurt. So I've been adding this into all of my uh, protein balls as well. And then lastly, our chia seeds. These are super good. I don't like to go too overboard on them because they are, they kind of expand in your mouth. You know, they get stuck in your teeth and they kind of expand. So one time I like way overdid the chia seeds and it wasn't very good that way. So you kind of work with, with the ingredients and find what proportions work best for you. So then it looks like this with all the different ingredients and you stir it all together. So this is a great way to add in any sort of supplements that you might want to take. You know, if you're having a hard time finding a, a time to get in some protein powder during the day or some other supplements that you've been wanting to take and you're just having a hard time finding a way to get them into your diet, this is a great way because the peanut butter really masks the taste of any other sort of stuff in here. And then with the, the between the oats, the coconut, and the chocolate chips, you've got a lot of texture going on, so you really don't taste any of that other stuff. You just really taste like a crunchy, yummy peanut butter ball. And with all the peanuts that are in here from the crunchy peanut butter. So it looks like this once it's all stirred up. So I just go ahead and let it sit in the fridge for about an hour and kind of let it just harden a little bit and then take it out, roll it into little balls, and then I just store it in a Tupperware and keep it in the fridge. And that's it, it's a super easy, healthy breakfast or snack or sweet treat. Thanks for watching, bye.